or I got my lap dog from England. I've had my eye on this ever since I first saw it six or so months ago. And it's got a you know one of those microfiber cushions. And underneath it is a tote bag it fits in. So I'm gonna move that right now. A big tote bag you slide it in and if you don't want to you don't have to take your tools out of it I'm gonna take the lid off that's that's the lid see lap dog comes from England and it just fell over okay here we go another reason boy this just barely fits in my chair Another reason I got it is because you can use it on a desktop. Get that out of the way. You can use it on a desktop and it'll give you a nice amount. You can you can arrange it in a tilt and it'll hold. All right, read along with me and we'll learn about this together, okay? Lapdog doesn't replace your craft room, but it is a useful piece of kit for when you want to relax in front of the TV or chat with friends and family while still crafting. It's lightweight and portable, yet strong. Down here, Lapdog sits on a comfortable corduroy cushion, which is lightly filled with beads so that it molds to your lap. For your personal preference, the amount of filling makes it possible to adjust the angle of the work surface some. The turquoise colored right here. A4 work board has a smooth top surface making it suitable for many crafting applications. The reverse size of the work board has an A5 size aperture in the center suitable for holding paper pads and cards. Is that right? Yeah. A dense foam mat suitable for parchment, craft, or beading is included too. So that's this. The smaller compartments around that aperture hold bead sequence or can be used for paint. Well, that'd be a mess to clean out, wouldn't it? Does this come out? Okay, that comes out. So you could use that for a palette. I don't think I would, though, with blue because it's going to affect your colors. Uh, the workboard and cutting mat can easily be lifted out so there's a notch to pull those out. The transparent cover which we put in the floor will protect your work while lapdog is not in use. It's tall enough to leave most craft tools, crayons, pens, and place in your work in progress safe. Okay. So you can work, 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 put the pins up, Put the lid on and everything stays just like you left it. Okay, now underneath this is a cutting mat. Now, tell me that's cool. And it's marked on both sides. It looks like one inch on that side. And it is a, an 11 inch by 11 by 8 mat. Oh, centimeters on one side and inches on the other. This can also stand up in either of the two long compartments, which would be here or back here. See? Hope I'm not making you seasick. I wish I could get my iPad out of the way. Mate, that's better. Okay. Oh, so if you put put it here and you've got instructions or a picture or something like that, that's a support to hold up some kind of paper or magazine or whatnot. And you can also put your, um, hello, iPad or tablet in this slot.
It has all these round compartments. Right here for pens and markers. Glue or paint sticks. And it says the largest set even has vertical slots to hold card, paper, or embellishments in an upright position. Okay, and this is for, ta-da, the light. Uh-oh. There it goes. The light. See? Can't get it in there. A little light. Okay. I don't think I understand the vertical for papers and stuff. Okay, the lap dog has extra storage compartments for all kinds of craft tools. The dividers. These make the craft mat stable, so you can cut on it and it won't sink down. Um, ink pads, jars of paint, whatever, whatever your uh, your brand of craft sickness has 72 different compartments and apertures, which are suitable for holding and storing anything. It's good for left and right-handed users. It came with a turquoise work board with removable A5 dense foam pad for the reverse side. An A5 frame, which will hold cards, paper, or sketchbook, is surrounded by 20 shallow compartments. A turquoise bead-filled cushion can be positioned at different angles. A self-heal cutting mat. Two removable storage pots with lids. That's these. Think water. And you got another one over here, which means you could have one for clean water and one for dirty water. And smack the lid back on top when you're moving it so you don't spill it, which is what I always do. And that is it. So, cool or not? So, you know, what's that thing for? I got four. This is, they have an American site at www.lapdogtray.com. Oh, I forgot what that's for. But look, oh, voila, there is a little bin under there. I guess you could use this for stamping. Hmm. And they have excellent videos on their site. And I am looking forward to using it. It makes me wish my chair was a little bit bigger. But it is what it is for me. So I can get a pretty good angle on this in paint. I think this is a winner. Uh, well constructed, well packaged, and I got it in 10 days. And that's from Heathrow. Um, so I am, I'm really pleased. Like I said, really pleased. So I think that's all the gibberish I have for now, but you've gotten to see a good unpacking of my lap dog tray. See ya.